Hi everyone, I hope you're doing really well. This is my empties video for the month of January and um, I'll also be doing favorites probably after this, but I wanted to just kind of jump into this. I have some new hair products I've been using. I think, I think they're good. Um, I kind of got away from cone free, but I might have to go back to cone free. So one of the things I had been using was, and this looks gross because it's garbage. I'm not gonna clean it, <laughs> but it's the L'Oreal Smooth Intense Polishing Conditioner. I believe this actually was cone free. Let me just read it. Yes, it is. So I really like this actually. I would buy this again. The only thing I don't like about it is this lid kind of gathers water. So you just sort of see water in there and it just kind of grosses me out because I don't know, it just seems nasty. But anyway, so that was that. And then I finished this hair mask. I talked about this when I purchased a new one. I talked about having used this. It's the Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Um, I want to say it was Emily Clark, the Canadian YouTuber. She's really good. Talked about this as the same ingredients as Kerastase. And for like $8 versus $40 or something like that, I'm going to try this first. And it was mediocre at best, but it was better than no deep conditioner, let me put it that way. I haven't really found a deep conditioner that just knocks it out of the park with my hair. I have pretty dry hair and I do color it. So yeah, it's it's kind of a goofy thing. If you know of something really awesome, let me know. But this is okay, it's, it's not bad. Um, a Kirkland wipes container, which I go through something like this every month. I do like the one from BJ's a little bit better, but this is fine and um, I like the container better with the little flip top. They're a little bit bigger than the BJ's one, which I don't really find to be necessary. So just my opinion, but this is really good. Um, a Target nail polish remover. I'm kind of boycotting Target after they lost my personal information. But if I do go back, I will buy this with cash because it's really, really good. It's the acetone one, um, the extra strength like this. It's really nice. This is pretty much the only thing I feel gets glitter off and stuff like that. Not well, I mean, not like super fast, but it, it works really well on regular polishes and it's really good stuff. Um, I really like this, surprisingly. This is the Oil-Free Acne Wash res Redness Soothing Facial Cleanser from Neutrogena. It was the green one. This is really good. I also like the original Acne Free, or whatever this is, Oil-Free Acne Wash. I like that a lot. Um, my facialist told me to use something with salicylic acid, so I've been using that in the evening and Cebu in the morning, and I think my skin is really doing as as well as it's done in a long, long time on this. So um, this versus the orange one, I don't really see a whole lot of difference. This smells a little bit better. Um, this is the, oh, this is gross. The Mario Badescu glycolic foaming cleanser. I really use this as a body wash, um, probably once a week as an exfoliant, but it's, it smells really good. It smells kind of lavender or something. It's very spa-like, which is nice, but I don't particularly like this and I don't like it on my face. It will break me out every time I use it on my face, but it, everywhere else it's fine. It's really good stuff for a body wash. Um, I think I put this here to tell you about it because I don't have the little jar, but I went through a Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is really good. It's really good, but it's also really unnecessary because my Dr. Bronner's bar of soap works at least as well as if, it, if not a little bit better than this. Um, and it's $4. So this is kind of overpriced for what it was. I went through a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And you know what? Initially I thought, eh, this is really a hype, overhyped product. Then I got it in the full size. That sounded really stupid. Yes, I didn't think it was very good, so I bought it. But <laughs> I bought it, and I find I like it a lot. So that'll probably actually be in my favorites video, but this was really nice. Um, I'm throwing this away because I don't think it works. It's the Makeup Forever Sense Size Waterproof Makeup Remover. It was crap. Uh, let's see. I love this foundation so much, although this looks disgusting. It's the... CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous in Classic Ivory is the color I use. It's um, it, it feels like toward the last eighth of the bottle you can never get any more out. But, you know, for $8, I really don't care. And lastly, I had this Caress Daily Silk Body Wash. It smells kind of rosy peachy. I really love this, which is funny because 
it's just not something that really crossed my mind. And one day I bought it and I really like it. And I'm not allergic to it, which is interesting because I'm like the most allergic person on the planet. So those are my empties. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you in the very near future. Near future. I can't talk today. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.